evening, everybody, and it's my great pleasure to deliver my talk, uh, my talk in such a uh, distinguished uh, event. Uh, my name is Professor Afaf Al Ansari, senior scientist in the Central Lab, uh, King Saud University. Uh, my research interest is biomarkers of autism. I'm going today to talk about GABA and the glutamate imbalance in autism and the reversal as novel medical hypothesis for effective treatment strategy. Actually, the reason behind uh, uh, writing this medical hypothesis uh, was unexpected comments raised by some parents having children with autism in the seventh uh, conference, uh, conference in Moscow uh, in, in 2019. Uh, they complained that their children were not showing any improvement with GABA supplementation, which was surprising for me as a scientist in this field. I wrote the hypothesis and it was published in Autism and Developmental Disorders in 2020. Uh, of course, all of, no, uh, all of you know uh, the remarkable uh, increase in prevalence of autism. Uh, now it reached one uh, per four, uh, 54 children, while in 2004 it was one per 166, which is a, a, a remarkable increase. Uh, if you want to talk about the etiological mechanism of autism, you can see that mostly are oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction leading to apoptosis of neuronal uh, uh, cells, and uh, glutamate excitotoxicity as an uh, etiology mechanism related to my talk. I'm going to talk about uh, uh, glutamate uh, GABA balance. Actually, uh, we know that glutamate is a major excitatory neurotransmitter in the brain, while GABA is the major inhibitory neurotransmitter, uh, uh, and the balance between both is very critical, important for the normal brain function. But in autistic patients, there are imbalance with much higher increase of glutamate and lower uh, level of GABA, giving ratio, high ratio of glutamate to GABA. These findings uh, are consistent either from animal modeling uh, or uh, through uh, clinical uh, data. Here you can see GABAergic glutamergic imbalance relative to excessive neuron uh, inflammation in autism spectrum disorder, one of our publications. And here glutamate excitotoxicity in rodent model and how it could be ameliorated using B pollen as prebiotic. Uh, the difference between uh, glutamate as an excitatory and the GABA as uh, inhibitory is that the first induce depolarization, glutamate induce uh, excitatory postsynaptic uh, potential due to depolarization of the membrane, while GABA normally it induce inhibitory postsynaptic uh, potential due to hyperpolarization of the membrane. Actually, if, uh, uh, if uh, the parents uh, complain that uh, GABA supplementation was ineffective or unsuccessful as treatment strategy of uh, their children, this let me think what behind this unsuccessfulness. And I understood that there are many factors which could be contributed for a successful GABA supplementation. Among these is chloride ions. It is well known that the chloride ions control the GABAergic inhibitory effect. The, the GABA inhibitory effect is usually contro controlled with the uh, uh, level of chloride ions. Uh, as you can see here, uh, uh, there are two transporters which regulate the inhibitory effect of GABA, potassium chloride co-transporter 2, which uh, uh, catalyzes the, the transport or the, in, uh, the, uh, the efflux of uh, potassium from, uh, of uh, chloride sorry, uh, from inside to outside, and the sodium uh, potassium chloride co-transporter uh, 1, which uh, uh, catalyzes the influx or the entrance of chloride into the these two transporters are of critical importance to regulate the, no, the, 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 the inhibitory effect of GABA. 
How this happens? Because it is well known that GABA typically excites neurons in the brain of a growing fetus and then quiets them during birth and then sw uh, 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 switch mediated by uh, oxytocin and the vasopressin in mother. So fetus, the GABA in fetus is an excitatory neurotransmitter, not inhibitory neurotransmitter. And after birth, it starts to be uh, 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 converted from excitatory to inhibitory, and this usually regulated or controlled by chloride ions. As you can see here, in case of high chloride ions, there is excitatory effect of GABA. GABA will induce depolarization of the membrane in presence of high concentration of chloride ion, while in normal chloride ion, it will induce hyperpolarization or inhibitory effect, which is the normal uh, effect uh, of uh, GABA. Here you can see for a successful GABA supplement, we should put in mind some factors. Some are promoting the inhibitory effect of GABA, others will inhibit. Among the, uh, 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 the uh, inhibitory effect is inflammation, as inflammation usually uh, inhibit glutamine sensitase and the glutamate decarboxylase as two enzymes catalyzing the conversion of glutamate either to glutamine or GABA. Uh, uh, also, infection, uh, uh, stress, uh, deficiency of vitamin B6 and the magnesium, as, and the magnesium, all these will inhibit uh, the catalytic activity of glutamate decarboxylase and use much higher glutamate, much lower GABA. So much higher ratio of glutamate to GABA, which will induce glutamate excitotoxicity. So all these factors should be contributed during GABA supplementation. All of us, we know that uh, uh, epilepsy is a comorbidity in the most autistic patients, and this usually due to the imbalanced GABA glutamate ratio. Here you can see that GABA glutamate ratio is uh, related to seizure or epilepsy. Just to know a little bit about the uh, uh, neurotransmission, uh, glutamergic neurotransmission, the uh, glutamergic neuron synthesize glutamate, which will uh, release uh, from the presynaptic neuron to the postsynaptic neuron, where there are uh, two types of receptors and after it will uh, it give uh, its uh, action it will uh, trans uh, it will uh, uh, go or uh, reach the astrocytes or uh, the post synaptic the presynaptic again to be uh, broken down through glutamate transporter so this means that glutamate transporters are critically important to regulate or to control the level of glutamate as an excitatory neurotransmitter. Here you can see two types of glutamate uh, receptors. Uh, the NMDA receptor usually overstimulated with much higher concentration of uh, glutamate, and this induces what is known as glutamate excitotoxicity as a repeatedly etiological mechanism recorded in UTIS many, many studies. Here you can see the GABAergic neuron where uh, uh, glutamate usually converted to GABA uh, uh, through the catalytic uh, action of uh, uh, glutamate uh, decarboxylase. And here I want to pay your attention that these GABA receptor, in order to be function, they should be clustered. Later on, I'm going to discuss why they, are, they should be clustered. Here you can see the difference between normal glutamate regulation with normal level of glutamate and the glutamate excitotoxicity with much higher glutamate concentration, which, as I said before, it, it will overstimulate the uh, NMG receptor leading to neuronal death. What else is regulated to the success of uh, GABA supplementation? Actually, among the factors uh, needed for GABA supplementation success as intervention uh, or treatment strategy is normal status of vitamin D. 
Vitamin D is very important uh, in order to maintain normal uh, GABA glutamate ratio. And it was found that uh, vitamin D could be, uh, uh, vitamin D supplementation could help to treat excitation and inhib inhibition imbalance in uh, many neurological disorders, among which is autism. Here you can see that uh, vitamin D deficiency uh, induce uh, much lower uh, expression of uh, glutamate transporter, uh, uh, much higher release of glutamate and much lower release of uh, GABA. So it is directly related or have a role not directly related to glutamate excited toxicity. And of course, uh, 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 keeping uh, vitamin D status, it will be, it will help with a successful treatment of GABA supplementation. Then we are going to talk about the role of gut microbiota or the probiotic. It's well known that autistic patient has uh, dysbiosis or leaky gut with much uh, lower uh, level or uh, complexity of uh, gut bacteria, uh, much lower bifidobacteria and lactobacillus and much higher or overgrowth of uh, cholesteridia uh, species. How this is related? to uh, glutamate excited toxicity, it's well known that lactobacillus and the bifidobacteria as two important therapeutically used uh, probiotics, usually uh, both are able to produce GABA and uh, lactobacillus produce GABA decarboxylase enzyme, which helps the conversion of glutamate to GABA. So up to this, in order to have uh, uh, successful GABA supplementation, we should consider an integrated factors, among which we should keep the glutamate concentration low. We should induce the 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 metabolomic, the meta the metabotropic uh, glutamate receptors, and a little bit inhibit the ionotropic or the NMD receptors. It, we could induce uh, the GABA release from the GABAergic neur uh, neuron. We should avoid all the uh, factors, all the factors which could uh, uh, inhibit uh, the beneficial effect of GABA, as I have mentioned before. Also, the chloride ions, as I have mentioned before, and the vitamin D status, and we can use probiotic as a source of GABA or glut uh, glutamate decarboxylate. So among, what are the targets for to treat glutamate excited toxicity? As I have mentioned before, first is glutamate transporter. We can induce the uh, uh, gene expression of glutamate uh, 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 transporters. Uh, we have some publication in which we induce expression of glutamate uh, transporter using beta lactam, but a specific drug should be designed to uh, simulate uh, glutamate transporters. We should uh, uh, treat oxidative stress as an etiological mechanism related uh, to glutamate excited toxicity. You can see our publication uh, 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 in which relating oxidative stress to glutamate excited toxicity. So giving antioxidant will be of great help to uh, treat glutamate excited uh, toxicity. Uh, finally, because of the lack of the time, I, uh, uh, recently, most recently, we were able to treat glutamate excited toxicity in retinal uh, ganglion cell line using some herbs like lepidium, sativum, artichoke, and uh, um, uh, and the morango. Uh, these uh, these three plants were effective to treat uh, glutamate excited toxicity induced in retinal ganglion uh, cell lines. Of course, uh, here actually this is very important. Here you can see uh, that it is very important for the uh, GABA receptors to be clusters in order to be functional. So if we can see here that we can see that in case of high glutamate, in case of normal level of glutamate, you can observe that GABA receptors are clustered, so they will be functional, give the inhibitory effect. While in case of high glutamate, 
uh, these receptors under the, the remarkable increase of glutamate as an excitatory neurotransmitter, GABA receptors will be unclustered, non-functional. This will lead to calcium release, GABAergic dysregulation, imbalanced uh, inhibitory excitatory neurotransmitter, uh, 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 and, and the final leading to apoptosis and uh, uh, cell death. So it is very important to uh, control the glutamate concentration uh, or level during uh, a GABAergic uh, uh, or during supplementation with GABA as intervention uh, strategy to uh, autistic uh, patient. So up to this, this hypothesis presents evidence proposing how to reverse glutamate uh, excitotoxicity as treatment strategy of autism, correction of imbalanced glutamate gap ratio in individuals with autism should be tried at different levels through the use of multiple targets, among which is glutamate transporters, uh, inactivation of NMDA receptor, activation of metabolic Tropic receptors, uh, keep a uh, normal level of vitamin D, use of probiotic, most importantly, control the levels of chloride ions in order to avoid the excitatory effect of GABA. Here you can see how all these factors could be uh, uh, integrated together in order to have a successful GABA supplementation intervention, and thanks a lot. Thank you. If there is any question, 